All right, so the combat pack one is complete. Spawn has had his gameplay trailer shown to us, his combat cast shown, and is now available for everyone, regardless if you have the combat pack or not. Shang Tsung, Nightwolf, Sindel, Terminator, Joker, and now Spawn are with us. So now that the DLC is over, what's next for Mortal Kombat 11? Will there be a second combat pack? Will there be a combat pack two? And the quick and simple answer is yes. More than likely, we will be seeing more characters for Mortal Kombat 11. Now, of course, I am not saying this as an absolute fact, as I do not have any insider information, but if you have been following this game for a while now, you would know that we have been expecting at least three new additional fighters for Mortal Kombat 11, and those characters are Ash Williams, Shiva, and Fujin, characters that were not included in the Combat Pack 1. But could we get more than those characters? It's possible. But first, let's talk about those three. If you aren't up to date with everything, the reason we are expecting these characters is because they have been more or less been legitimately leaked for the game. What all three of them have in common is that they have character files under the DLC section from the Nintendo Switch data files, and those files also contain intro dialogues against all the characters in the game. In addition to that, they also included the intros for the DLC characters that are in the game right now, and every single one of those intros are in the game. Everything is word for word correct. In Ash's case, we heard his chainsaw at the end of Shang Tsung's gameplay trailer, and there was an in-game notification accidentally telling us Ash was in the game, and today, or at least at the time for recording this video, Ash was accidentally revealed in an email from WB, letting everyone know that Spawn is now available to buy. Now clearly Ash Williams was supposed to be in the first combat pack, but some sort of hiccup happened that caused him to be replaced by Joker, and this is evident in the fact that the Joker in the first combat pack trailer looks way different than how he actually does look like in the game now. But nonetheless, the fact that all those three characters were not in the first combat pack develops a notion that they will be included in some sort of second character pack. So here's what we know in terms of official word. Nothing leaked, nothing hidden in a file, no. This is official word. We know Ed Boon spoke at Final Combat teasing to us that there will be some sort of support for the game going forward. And, uh, you know, so there's a lot more to come with Mortal Kombat as well. You know, this isn't the end of the whole, um, you know, support that we're going to have for this game. We get a lot of surprises in store for you. We know that the voice actors for the game, such as Steve Blum, Richard Epcar, and Andrew Bowen, the voices of Sub-Zero, Raiden, and Johnny Cage, were back in studio doing voice work for Netherrealm Studios, and more likely than not, it's the same situation for the rest of the voice actors. Joshua Gray, who is a commentator for the Netherrealm titles, you usually see him being the host of most Netherrealm events, teasing that there is more to come for MK11. Now, that could be referring to a second competitive season for the game, but even if it was that, usually when there is a second competitive season for a Netherrealm title, more DLC characters come with that. All of that is a recap of things we basically already know. The real question here is, will we be getting more than just those three characters, Fujin, Shiva, and Ash? Based on everything we know, based on the facts, Based on things that are right in front of us, it doesn't look like it. However, am I ruling out the possibility of it? Of course not. For all we know, we could be getting a full six character combat pack, but just looking at what we have right now, anyone could say we are probably just going to be getting three more characters and that's it. That's the safe bet, but I think it is completely reasonable to think we will be getting three more, making it six characters. So let's look at the current Mortal Kombat 11 roster selection. Does the structure of the icons look a little bit weird to anyone? Just a little bit? Well, don't you think the structure would look a little bit better if you put six more character icons here? It looks a lot better as opposed to adding just three characters. I mean, where would those three character icons go? If we were just getting three, where would they go without making the roster structure look weird? A case as simple as that is enough to bring a good argument for a full six character combat pack. 
So what do I believe? What will I bet my money on? What do I expect? And after hard thought, I did think we were only going to be getting three more characters, but I am now expecting a full six character combat pack. Who are those other three? I don't know, but leave a like on this video if you want me to post a combat pack 2 prediction video. I understand believing that we are just getting three more characters. As I said, based on the facts that we know, based on things that are in the game, it is totally not without reason to believe this, but that could easily change with a patch update for Mortal Kombat 11 that adds in other characters in addition to those three. And then boom, we know more about what's coming and then we have six more characters. So I am here to tell you that yes, we probably will be getting more DLC characters. We have known that we are going to be getting more DLC characters. The game isn't even a year old yet. It will be one year old next month. And once it does turn a year old, that's when I expect Netherrealm to roll out their plans to support the game for its second year. And that's completely based on Ed Boon's words. That's what he said. That's also what they did in MKX with the Combat Pack 2, which came out a year after release. And that's what I expect for MK11. Could I be wrong? No. Could I be right? Yes. <laughs> Getting aside, let me know in the comments what you guys think will be happening in terms of the future of DLC content for MK11. Do you think we will just be getting Fujin, Shiva, and Ash? Or do you think we will be beginning a full six character combat pack? And if so, who do you think it will be? And who are you hoping for? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat content. Thank you all so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.